Hey everyone, it's Nicole Shabokas, your Independent Sentency Director of Skyward Bound. And I just wanted to quickly come on here and show you how you enter an order or start a party and then what the difference is between your workstation and your website and when to use both. I'm gonna to try to make this as brief as possible. So to set up a party order, we're gonna to go to the order tab. We're gonna to go to open orders. And then actually we're not gonna to go to open orders. We're gonna to go to new, sorry. We're gonna create a party. If we need to get back to our parties that we've already set up, we go to open orders. So I'm gonna call this Nicole's launch party. So this is typically your first party that you're setting up. You can name it whatever you want. Sometimes I made it name it order here. Sometimes I name it, um, you know, May, May flowers or whatever you want to call it. So since we're our own host, we're going to click the use consultant as host. Um, if you have a host that's doing the party, then you would put their information in. And remember, we can't use the host credit for enrollment if we host our own party, but we can go back and edit if we want to. So I'm going to save and continue. And then here's where we set up the party page. So feel free to edit this um, however you want. Um, you know, make it your own. Um, you can do that however you want. If it's a fundraiser, you could add that. Um, always um, a good idea to add a photo um, or a video. If we do that, we're more likely to have a better turnout um, with orders when we send people there. So we're getting our party set up. Always have a party set up on your workstation. So you can either view the default image or products or you can choose your own. I recommend that you choose your own. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to. And then um, make sure you, you have your party date and time set up. Um, I like to choose the end of the month just that way it doesn't close early on me. Um, and I can make sure and get all my orders in before it closes. So now here is our party link. So we can copy this link. If you're on your phone, you can text it out to people and share your new party link. Um, you could um, go straight there. And see the party page. So here we are. Um, I don't know why I didn't put my picture in there. It didn't save my picture. So that's another thing. Check and make sure everything worked right. So we're going to edit our party page and just click through. This is also how you edit if you needed to edit the host. Say that you started your own party, but then um, you know you decided to make it into a host party or whatever. Okay, for some reason, did not save my picture. So, um, when do we put orders in through the workstation, and when do we put orders in through the website. So if we have orders of $200 or more, we're going to get host credit and free shipping on the entire party. The party all has to be shipped to one place in order for the shipping to be um, free for everyone. So typically I have it shipped to myself and then um, we can deliver it when it comes in. So I just added Sally Sue in earlier, so I'm clicking on her name. 
So we're gonna before. Um, let's see. I think I did Nancy and Nelly. So I just made these fake customers in here. But you can add them as you go <clears throat> and create them. Um, so I'm going to call that all our guests, and we're going to go to our cart. So as we're collecting orders on paper, we're going to save them up. And once we get to 200, remember, we don't want to keep, um, once we collect people's orders, we want to make sure that we are um, getting them entered in a timely fashion. So um, typically only three or four days once you start collecting um, money. But um, so that encourages you to work faster to collect your, your orders so that nobody has to wait too long to get their order. But we want to also bundle them together into $200 parties so that we don't um, waste our host credit um, and we aren't um, having to charge them shipping unless we are shipping it somewhere out of town or whatever. So here we enter our product. So say Sally Sue wants a diffuser. So we're going to add the diffuser in. She also wants an oil perhaps. You can type in any part of the product name and it's going to bring all the things up. Sometimes less is more. If you type in oil, it probably won't come up. So you could also type in calm rather than oil. Um, say she also wanted a room spray. So I'm just going to type spray. Um, and she wanted Luna. So, and then we can X this out and see what we have here. So right now we're, our party summary is at 162 because um, Sally Sue is ordering 162. So if we estimate the total with tax and shipping, it's going to show shipping on there because we haven't yet reached 200. So that, until we get to 200, it's going to be on there. But now we have to enter Nancy's order. So say she wanted a six pack of bars. So you just type in bars. It's going to bring up car bars and Scentsy bars and licensed Scentsy bars. So she wanted the six pack of regular bars. So we're going to add that. Um, they even she wanted two six packs, so we can change it there. And now we're going to enter our 12 bars, our two six packs. So you can start typing the name. Say she wanted coconut lemongrass and black raspberry vanilla and maybe a Luna and aloe water and cucumber. Or you can click through. Um, here we have all fragrance families. You could also go to the florals and click there. So she really likes that little hot citrus. She got six of those. So save our bundle. And then now, if we look, we're at 222. So we are now above the party minimum. So we want to make sure and use all of our host credit. If um, we don't use it, we lose it. So let's say maybe we want some dryer discs. I'm gonna do a three pack of those. Save our bundle. Save bundle. And now we have 220 left. Oh shoot, we don't wanna leave any money on the table, so let's get a circle. So we add our scent circle. Whoops, I just deleted our dryer disc. Don't want to do that. Okay, so now we've used all of our host credit. We earned 22.20 and we used 23. So we're going to overpay the 80 cents. And then we want to use our half price item. You can use most of the bundle and saves as long as they don't have an asterisk. So say we wanted that Sensi system with the mini warmer. So we're gonna type in system. And then we'll go and choose our warmer. Maybe we want a black raspberry vanilla. All right, now we have used our half price item. Remember, if we don't use it, we, we lose it. But there's a hidden half price under party summary. Don't forget this one. It's called the perpetual party reward. It's intended for the previous host. So say your mom hosts a party 
and then your sister books off of your mom. At your sister's party, your mom is going to get a half price item. So you can actually assign it to her. Um, say we want, it's our first party, it's our launch party, so we want to use it. We're going to get a six pack of wax. And we just love, oh geez, coconut lemongrass. So we're going to do all coconut lemongrass. But you can split it up however you want. You don't have to do all the same scent. If we didn't want it, we could give it away or we don't have to use it. However, in the host cart, this, these half price items must be used. If we do not use them, let's say we were like, eh, I don't really have the money, I don't want to use that. Um, there is a fee for not using them. It's kind of a weird direct sell thing. Um, add, so if we don't use it, it's going to add the $5 host rewards fee to the host cart. Uh, maybe we don't really want to pay $5 for nothing, nothing. If we don't have a lot of money, perhaps we should get um, a three pack of bulbs and pay $250 instead of $5 for nothing. So make sure you use the half price items in here, otherwise you um, will have to pay that host fee. So that's how we enter party order. Now we're gonna go to checkout. If Sally, Sue, and Nancy paid us with cash, we're going to deposit that into our checking account, and then we'll pay with our debit card. If they paid with credit card, we enter it here. So we're going to continue. So if Nancy paid with a credit card, then we have her credit card written down on the order form. We're going to write her name, her credit card number, and we're gonna charge it right here. She could pay $20 in cash and the rest on the card, so then we'd only pay $43.94. And the rest we're gonna put on our card because we deposited her $20 that she's paid with into our checking account. You are more than welcome to take checks if you want. Again, you're just gonna deposit them into your account and then you will pay with your debit card. So, if everybody paid cash, then you're just going to click all of the, the names, put in your card number, and then submit the order here and pay the 25607 because you've already put that in your bank account. Like I said before, if Nancy had, our, had paid with a credit card, it would take the 6394 off after we um, charged her card, and then we just do the remaining two um, payments on our own card, and it would be a lesser amount. So that's how you do a party order through the workstation. What if you don't have a party um, complete and somebody needs some Scentsy right away? Well, you can send them to your website. Make sure it's attached to the party, so send them the party link. Um, and then they can order right from the website. Um, make sure you tell them to go into specials and bundle and save, that kind of stuff. Alternatively, you can do this yourself. If they want something and they need it right away or you don't have a party going in, um, you can go to your website, order it for them. You could either have it shipped to them or shipped to you. Shipping is going to be charged. It's an $8 minimum or 10%. And then it will ship to them automatically or ship to you automatically. But if you attach it to this party, then later on when you go to close the party, the party re rewards are going to be higher and you'll be able to um, get free shipping and get the party rewards. So in the workstation, you will see under orders, there's this little thing called individual order. You could also use that, but I don't recommend it because we want to use the system to our advantage. So if rather than doing an individual order and paying shipping and getting no rewards, I would recommend you actually go to your website, order from the website, and have it attached to the party. That way, you are accumulating host credit and working up to free shipping through that order as well. Individual orders don't get you any host credit or add to free shipping. Um, 
for website orders, they will have to pay shipping on the website, but that party total or that order total goes towards the party total as long as it's attached to the party. So um, make sure that if you need to ship something direct, you're using your website and you're attaching it to a party. So always have a party on your website. And then if anybody needs your website, always give them a party link. Remember, as you close those parties, those party links won't work anymore. So they could always go to your website and up in the left, it will say choose a party and you can just click on it and it will show all of the parties that you have listed. So make sure that you always have a party open on your website and know the difference between your workstation and your website. So your website is your whatever you chose for your name, .sensi.us. Your workstation is workstation.sensi.com. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. Um, try to never use that individual order. You always want to use your website so that it's always counting towards the party because we want to maximize the party rewards. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Have a fabulous day, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.